So, uh, yeah, this is going to be part two. Um, we're moving on from the 20 and $30 ballad songs over here to the $50 ballad songs. And um, I will start with uh, this alien here. So I did some custom uh, coloring on here just with some Sharpie. Um, just to spice it up a little bit because the uh, all gray was looking a little boring. So um, but yeah, $50. What you get here is pretty amazing. You get uh, channel aluminum um, handles. You get... Um, this might be a D2 blade steel. I don't remember exactly what blade steel. I probably should have uh, written it down, but um, really nice blade. I really like this blade design. I really like the spear point, how uh, it's it has all the weight right there and then kind of goes off into the, all four directions like that. Uh, I like these uh, holes here and this one right there. I like the spear point. And then the best part is this indention right here. This has saved me so many times from cuts from Zen rollovers and everything else. Um, this spine is really nicely rounded or crowned. Yeah, that feels amazing for, uh, for chaplains. Um, yeah, $50. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for beginners just because of uh, these really thin handles kind of make it a little bit harder to control. But uh, once you're like intermediate to advanced, this is a really fun flipper to uh, just spice up your collection. It's definitely a, uh, a different experience for sure with uh, all the weight down here and the thin handles just gives it a really weird balance. Um, it, this is running on bushings. Uh, we got Zen pins here. Really smooth uh, Zen nipple here. Uh, doesn't ever pinch me at all. Really nicely rounded chamfered. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a, these aluminum channel handles. Very nice. No latch or, uh, or clip or anything. But yeah, this one's really nice. $50. Um, also by the one, you can get this uh, trainer, the uh, Falcon. This does have a live blade, um, so the, um, this, yeah, this uh, does have a live blade, and this uh, Alien does have a trainer blade. However, I recommend that you get this uh, live blade Alien, because I really like the live blade. If you just like flipping trainers, then go for it. But this Falcon, the live blade, I would not recommend it for sure, because... Uh, it's very light, and uh, not only does it throw off the weight for this battle song, um, it actually, uh, it's so like thin that I've heard that it gives it a uh, much harder time tuning uh, the tap out of it. So uh, yeah, for those reasons, I would just get the trainer. This is a really good trainer. I really like the balance on this. These, uh, these handles are really solid. Um, same thing, channel aluminum, uh, the Zen nipple never, uh, or the Tang nipple, whatever it's called, never pinches me on this one. Um, and yeah, really solid handles of their, um, what is it called? Is this, this is chamfered, I think. This is crowned and this is chamfered. So this feels really good for uh, chaplains as well because it's crowned. And then these handles are pretty block blocky, but they have this really nice chamfer right here, which really uh, makes up for it and makes it that much easier for fanning and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, also $50. Running on bushings also. Uh, this is really good value. And uh, if you want just like a beater that you can just throw around and not really worry about having uh, to take care of it, then this is the one right here. <laughs> Buy the one. Um, so yes, this is a clone by, by the one. It is a clone of the Kraken by Squid Industries. It is the one and only clone that I own. Um, 
if you're not counting this Benchmade 51 and this Rhapsody slash Rep uh, knockoff inspired club. But those aren't those aren't clones. Those are Amazon trainers with bearings and stuff. Those aren't clones. This is a clone, I would say. Uh, although there are some very distinct differences, this still could possibly be mistaken for the real thing, I think. Uh, the main differences is are these handles are way more blocky than the than the real thing. Uh, the real Kraken has much more rounded handles, so that's one way you can tell if you're just looking at it. Um, to be honest, I don't really know how else you can tell, as I have never handled a real Kraken, but, uh, but yeah, there's usually like, uh, hmm. yeah, if it doesn't have the squid logo, obviously it's not a real, not a real Kraken, but, um, so yeah, this is the first and only clone I've ever bought, and, uh, Kind of a little shame to say it, but uh, the quality on this is really nice. Like, the only maintenance I've had to do on this is Loctite, one of these pivots, and uh, maybe the Zen pins as well. But uh, besides that, this came with incredible tolerances, no tap. Like, I, I couldn't be happier with, uh, with this clone. Now, some people might have different experiences. I've heard the... Uh, I think the trainers are a little more hit or miss. Um, yeah, I'm uh, really blown away with the quality on this clone. So if you only had $50 and you want a channel aluminum trainer or light blade, um, If you want a trainer, definitely go with the Falcon, 100%. If you want a live blade, if you want like sturdier, more hefty handles, go with this Kraken, you know. I hate to say it, but uh, this is really good uh, value for the price, which you get in here. Um, I love the Tonto blade. Uh, this one came crazy sharp, which is why it's taped up right now. If I touch that blade or even look at it in the wrong way, it'll cut me cut me up good. So uh so yeah. But uh but yeah, the alien's kind of more of a uh of just like a unique flipping experience that you would get once you already have like your main flipper, I would say. But yeah, that's a $50 channel aluminum. I'm going to include probably these three maybe four battle songs in this part also so right here we got the squiddy i paid 60 dollars for this now um when i originally first got this and uh and took it out of the box and started flipping it i was eh, i was pretty disappointed i kind of felt like i uh maybe wasted 60 dollars <laughs> but um as I started flipping it more and more, whoa, whoa, whoa. As I started flipping it more and more, I kind of got why, uh, why Lucas is charging so much for this thing. Like, uh, yeah, it's really cheap materials that probably cost like less than $5 to make, but he did design it and it does have good weight and balance. Um, And it is a fun flipper, like, uh, I can't lie, I, I do enjoy flipping this thing. Uh, I do like that I can take it out in public and be low-key with it. No one's really gonna bat an eye or do a double take at this thing, you know. So, uh, I guess it's worth the price if, uh, if this is kind of what you're looking for. But besides that, um, if you're looking to learn, learn flipping and get into flipping, this is definitely not where you want to start, I'll say that. So yeah, that's uh, Squiddy. Next we have the Boker. This is the Boker Trainer uh, 40, 420 blade steel. Um, 
really nicely rounded. I think the earlier models weren't so rounded or weren't rounded at all, but uh, the rounding on there is pretty nice. Not too bad for Chaplin's. Um, I will say this, uh, the Zen cup right here does kind of, you do feel it when you're doing Chaplin, so it's definitely not the most comfortable. Um, I would say it's uncomfortable probably even. Uh, we do have Zen pins here. Um, never any bites on the, the nipple. Um, I believe this is G10, probably stainless steel liners, um, semi spring assisted latch, but not really. It just kind of flings around. We got a clip here for some reason on a trainer, but, uh, it really doesn't get in the way too much. And I kind of like it as a bite handle, bite handle indicator excuse me um yeah this was about like 60 dollars maybe like 65 dollars um i bought this when i was just recent or when i had just recently started to get back into flipping and i was just looking for anything that was in stock that i could get in my hands and you know the next week or two so uh this is one of the ones i think this is the second one i ordered after the lucha over there but we'll get into that um, it's a decent flipper. I do like it because it, uh, it's reminiscent of the more traditional battle song flipping days that I remember. Uh, this is running on washers and there's no bushings in there. So, uh, you have to wash or tune that, which is funny. But, um, yeah, like I said, like a more traditional, uh, flipping experience with this one. So I don't hate it. I do kind of like it. It has its own charm to it, but not worth $60, I would say, for sure. Definitely with what we have out today. Um, yeah, let's check uh, play here. Pretty crazy. This is running on washers. Got some uh, some tap there. Let's check that. That's looking a little... Yeah, it's looking all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. 